The wolf invasion! Ow! The wolfies invasion! They're coming! Or, well, there might be. They're coming. Are they? Ah, there they are. Come on! Come, wolfies! The wolfie invasion is here! And they're ready for their barn. Maybe all of them are here. Everybody, welcome back. My name is Fizz. How's everyone doing today? We're back on another Ark Survival of Season 8, host by Nachano. Always in the link description down below. And if you want to join the server, or if you want to join the free server, also in the link description down below, you can join through Patreon or Twitch or be a freebie in the Discord link in the description. So, if you guys saw the last couple episodes, we've been building the banished stuff from Gaia. Uh, we built the uh, banished. Uh, beehive, we built the banished anthill, and we built the banished uh, beaver den. Beaver dam? I think it's beaver dam. Yeah, I think it's a beaver dam. And each one of these is very special and unique for what we need for Gaia. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be combining those builds again to build the final one that we need, which is the banished wolf den. Which is just called wolf den, but I call it the banished wolf den. Basically, what this does is you put spoiled meat in, and you get rabies. Dreaded rabies. These dreaded rabies are actually used to tame uh, another creature as well as uh, used to summon things, which we'll be doing probably in the next couple episodes, showing you guys the summon stuff for Gaia because it's pretty cool because we need a summoned forgotten phoenix. So, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing the same thing like we did in the beaver one, is we're going to be building a wolf barn. Now, this wolf barn is going to be kind of interesting. It's going to be uh, kind of open. It's gonna be kind of like an open, like floor plan, and it's also gonna incorporate this, which is the wolf den. Now, the problem is right now, I'm trying to determine how we're gonna do this. And my guess is, if I just scroll out right now, is that I'm gonna have the wolf den in the middle, which is this structure right here. Oh, and I just dropped the torch. That's not good. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we have the wolf den right here. This is going to be the main center point and probably the main uh, entrance way, okay? Uh, I want to extend... Uh, this is actually kind of cool. I actually want to extend the build to be roughly to this tree and roughly to this tree and have it kind of like a, a rectangle, circular thing. And this is the entrance way on the inside. And then we'll have wolves on either side. It's not going to be very... It's not going to be a very big build. For say the least. I mean, I need enough room to be able to move creatures back and forth. I mean, I can probably knock down this tree if it's in the way and stuff because of the gate and everything. But this is kind of like, uh, you know, the wolf area. I think it will be, I think it's going to work. My guess is going to be, it's roughly going to be out to here for size. So, yeah. So, anyways, welcome back. And uh, let me now just do some layout plans for you guys, so that way we can understand what we're looking at. Because I know a lot of you are not visual seers, and I'm just going to be laying out foundations right now and counting everything. I also have two different wolves. We actually have the modded Dreadful Wolf with us, and we also have the Vanilla Wolf. They are actually semi the same size. The Vanilla Wolf is actually a little bit smaller, just a tiny bit smaller than the modded one because the modded one old the, uses the old model which actually is a little bit thicker not too much though it's not that thick it just looks like it because the older model is just bulkier anyways so let me get some laying out foundations and stuff and we'll be right back unless I don't have any foundations alrighty so welcome back everyone so I have done the placement over our foundations okay so it is a very it's not too big and I might change this up one more time because I'm trying to determine if I really want to make it this big now obviously the wolf pen is right now it's actually not too big I mean we still have this big area from this build all the way over to get dinos by to up to them up to there uh, but the problem is I'm trying to think if I really want to make this big now Obviously, we still have this little section right here Which I'm actually gonna probably make a circular bit around it and put that on top of it So that way it just looks a little bit nicer uh, I don't know. It, it doesn't look too bad right now, but I just kind of want everything to look pretty nice um, And I'm also thinking about we're gonna have stalls. So maybe we'll have the stalls. Let's see how how big let me let me get something to Demonstrate what I'm thinking about for stall wise 
Uh, did I bring any railings? Oh, I didn't bring any railings. All right, I'll, I'll just use these walls for right now to show you guys what I mean I'm talking about. I'll switch them up for railings later. But what I'm thinking about doing is having stalls be, like, four wide. Uh, so something like this. So, like, each each stall can hold up to two wolves, right? But, like, they're kind of divided into stalls, right? So this section would have one. And then this would be the only questionable section right here. Because let's see how this section only has two. And it doesn't have, like, an extra one right here. I don't know. I might change that. But that's kind of what I'm thinking about is having like a stall for two two of each wolves and like then how many how many storage is that? It's two, four, six, eight, ten. That's like ten wolves right here, so that's almost twenty wolves together. Almost it could be almost fifteen wolves. Or twenty yeah, it can almost yeah, it can almost be twenty wolves. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, I'm gonna explore a little bit on more placement and stuff, and then I'll bring you guys right back. I'm gonna make the circular bit though. Uh, right here over here first that is gonna go with this so give me a moment when I build this and if you don't know how to build this you can go check out a video in the description down below or in the top right if I actually remember how to if I put it there all right so welcome back so after some brainstorming and some building some other things I think we finally have the uh, concept of the build what we're gonna be doing so as you can tell, I have changed it up a little bit by making the entrance way four wide as well as this entrance over here two wide. And I've also done the circular bit where the uh, wolf den will be. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to circular make uh, a, a little fence thing around it. Um, and I also got to add a little bit more foundations there. But I'm going to make a... Um a little fence thing around it and actually make it into a the dome and it's going to connect into the building like so uh for a kind of a you know just like a little thing and and i'll add some ramps and stuff so the next thing to do is i'm actually going to plan on doing what am i going to do with these sections on these sides because i'm thinking about i don't really want i don't know if i really want these to be here these foundations like maybe i want to make them on the ground level so like it looks a little bit more natural but then i was thinking but also i could just have it maybe i could do them higher and then have like a little thing i don't know that's what i'm gonna do right now so give me a minute i'm gonna brainstorm some ideas off camera because it's gonna probably be a while all right everybody so welcome back so it's been a little bit a couple minutes actually probably an hour or so since i last recorded and we basically have kind of a blueprint on this right side on exactly what i'm going to be building for the barn now as you can tell there's been a lot of work happening and we're going to go over everything right now so if we first come in we have a nice little entrance way which i actually need to pick up these because we actually don't need these this is just this is for an experiment uh we don't actually don't need them uh, let me put those away. But yeah, so here we have is the entranceway. This is where the wolves will be coming in. It's right in. Oh my god, look at that. I just, I lined it up almost perfectly with the freaking orbital. That's actually pretty, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I've never actually done that before. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, we have the main entrance area like so. Uh, this is going to be, you know, just a little wolf stuff and everything. And then we'll also have the uh, little uh, barn thing for that. I might extend, <laughs> let me grab those foundations real quick again. I might extend, uh, I might extend these foundations to the side, like this, and like I might, I this is just a thought process, uh, something like this, and then get rid of this one and uh, this one. I might do something like that, or like I might even keep. See, here's the thing. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't line up perfectly because they're not not they're not supposed to be lined up perfectly. Um, but that's kind of I, I, that's just an idea what I'm doing right now. Uh, but anyway, so let's talk about this this barn area. So what right now we have is uh, it's too tall. Technically three if you count the half uh, the uh, roofing pieces. It's too tall. It's got a catwalk in the middle. It also has a window piece in the top. And then this is actually kind of cool. I'll show you guys how I did this. This is actually a stone uh, fence foundation, which adds a decorative area for the window now because the window i didn't want to have a full open window i kind of wanted to have a uh, closed ish window like kind of like a bar ish window and that 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 right there just adds some things uh like details for it also we have the entrance way with it has these you know this is modded obviously i can do this with build commit uh, builders improvement and stuff but for the most part all this us all for the rest of this i talk too fast for the rest of this it is vanilla based building which is kind of cool 
Um, if we come back up top, before we go in the middle, we actually added a uh, fence foundation. This is actually a happy accident. And I added this because I figured this would, it actually adds quite a bit of detail just by adding something like that. They are not perfectly straight, which is kind of impossible to get perfectly straight. But if you're not going to look at it from the top, you're going to look at it from the side or like from the bottom area. And they look really good when they're like that. So I kept them like that, which looks pretty cool. I'm also going to add them on top of that. But anyways, um, we're going to come back in here now. So here is what I was talking about having, uh, different barn stables area now i'm actually going to creatively uh, well i'm going to replace all these with actually uh thatch foundation because i was going to use the modded uh this bedding and it doesn't work i don't know i don't even know why this exists because it just does that and um oh a rare dreadful spino sweetie oh sweet Oh, yeah, she's not here, by the way. She's on the stream. We're, or, by the way, we're streaming on Twitch, if you didn't know. That could be almost 405. Oh, man, I'm surprised no one's actually going after that. Uh, I'm actually going to... Yeah, anyways. Uh, but, yeah, so that's kind of thing. So I might replace these with thatch and put walls and stuff and on the sides so that way it doesn't look too bad. But I'm not too sure yet. I want to make it look comfortable for the creatures, for the wolves. So, yeah, we have a lot of wolves. I mean, we have a lot of wolves. And we're going to be breeding wolves very, very soon. And also, we're going to be getting dreadful wolves because I'm a hunter this season. I'm a hunter and I need my wolves. Um, Yeah, you can't raise them. They, they're, just, they're just stuck like that. You can't do anything with them. You can only demolish, pick up, or menu. They're just stupid. They're dumb. It's not like... Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's kind of the style. I also added, like, some beam stuff happening. But yeah, that's kind of what we got so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the other side. And then uh, we're going to talk about uh, doing this back side. Because this is very important because I want to make it look, you know, roomy-ish. And I might even destroy... I might even change this up to have it, like, go out like this. I'm not too sure. Anyways... Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So I'll be back with you guys after I'm done uh, brainstorming some more ideas. I'm going to show you guys real quick how I uh, did this little trick. It's not really much of a trick. It's an old trick, but anyways. So what I first did was just snap a ceiling to the wall down here. And next thing I'm going to do is snap a uh, fence foundation right here. Now, what I would do is I would place fence foundations all the way first with the ceilings because then it's a lot easier. Uh, but for this demonstration for the video, I'm just going to do it like that. And then next thing after you're done with that is that you replace the ceiling... You get rid of the ceiling by replacing it with a roof piece because then that adds a structural support for it. So that way you don't need to have uh, the ceiling there anymore and then you can replace it with catwalks. Uh, so if I did something like this... Oh, for frick's sakes. Come on. Just snap, would you? All right. Ooh, snap, snap, snap. I need you to snap the other way. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Just give me these. Sometimes Ark likes to not behave. Okay. Okay, come on, snap. Thank you. And something like this. And then what happens is then that you can replace, you can remove that, uh, this ceiling piece. It might not work because I, I, it doesn't have a full structural support, but it worked on the other side. So maybe like this, this, there you go. And there you go. Because if I don't, if you don't have anything on top of it, it'll actually fall down. And it will just break something. Like that. See? So yeah, pretty cool. That's how you do it. Alright, I'm going to go make some more because I need a lot more fence foundations. Alright, so welcome back everyone. So I think we're kind of at a halfway point of being done. But I've changed my mind again. So as you can tell, the layout is a little bit different now. It's a little bit different. And the reason why is I kind of got carried away and this actually looks pretty cool. So what I've done is I've curved these ends into this section right here. And I've also gotten rid of one section. It used to be five, I think, or whatever. So now each one is this. This one's kind of a little funky, but it, that's fine. You just put it like a wall or something here and, and kind of stuff. Anyways, um, I was thinking, right, of doing it something like this. Because, you know, I don't like to have always flat stuff, right? So, 
This would just give it a little bit more dimension, I would think, if I did it something like this. And as you can tell, we have we can have one, two, three, four, five, six stables if we do this this way. And the problem is I got rid of the circular bit right here, which now I don't know what I want to do to do for it. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to develop the style for all of these sections first. I'm, I'm going to probably go from this section first. I'm going to de develop the styles on these, and then I'm going to see what I could do. Because I could technically do, I could still do the circular bit, which I might still do. Um, but a little bit will be hanging over the sides, so I'll just need like a couple more foundations. Because we do have a lot of room still uh, to make a circular bit. So yeah, so anyways, that's kind of what I was, I wanted to keep you guys up to date on that. Uh, this turned out great. I am going to decorate it with eco mods a little bit, but this is basically the vanilla finish version. So if you guys want to copy that, I mean, it's pretty simple. I showed you guys how to do most of the things. Oh, I forgot the fence foundation or the uh, catwalks on the other side. Oh, we're going to have to make some more. On this side, like this. Ah, one more. That's, dang it. Um, but yeah, it works pretty well. And I'll probably add a wolfy head and some wolfy flags and some eco decorating stuff. But yeah, so anyways. So I'll be right back, guys. Oh yeah, I am also naked-ish, half naked, because the bronze is killing me down here in the cold. Because it, uh, it suffers two times penalty in the cold. And it's really, really... I mean, I lose my food and health, like, constantly. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll be back when we get to half of this section, uh, done for setup. But I need to get some more building blocks down and now ellie is up so she's using the building blocks so together we're gonna have no more building blocks yay no i'm just kidding i ain't using that many so all right so welcome back everyone so we're back at another point of interest of talking to you guys and we have finally made one section of this amazing looking barn now i've actually it's actually come to the concur of me uh that i actually don't do that many barn videos so i might actually do a more of a creative a uh, wolf barn like maybe in a bigger one but this is pretty cool anyways nonetheless so let me walk you through this real quick so we're it's exactly kind of the same as this right side but it's got a curve in it and the curve is kind of just like a 45 degree curve and it just adds this now i was debating of getting rid of this whole entire section right here because i don't really like these intersections right here um but you know it, it it's part of arc i can't do anything about it so it's part of vanilla arc so i might as well just keep it anyways because i can't change it but i can technically change it i could change it but i don't really want to <laughs> i think it looks pretty I, I think it looks fine and besides it's just a wolf barn you know but yeah, and I also added some overhang uh, with cat some catwalks and some stuff, and then uh, we're going to add some ramps or roofing. Sorry, we're gonna add roofing to these, which is gonna be a pain in the butt. And then we're also gonna add uh, these are gonna be thatch, remember, and then stone and, and yeah, and everything. But yeah, as you can tell, it fits really nicely with the wolves. I think it really does. And then like I'll put like little crates and stuff on each one and make it look a little pretty and all this other stuff. And it looks, yeah, it looks relatively cool. I'm also going to add like a, uh, a feeding trough. I'll probably add a feeding trough here. And then I'll do like on this other side, I'll do a water feeding trough. So I'll have to get like a water system and I'll probably put like a pipe system right here, pumping it over to here and make it look like we're pouring water and stuff. But yeah. Um, but yeah, it's turning out to be pretty cool, and I think, uh, for the most part, the shape of it's really cool. Still haven't determined what I'm gonna do over there, but I'm gonna build this section now, and then we should be, dude, done on the main build part. But, there's one thing I still haven't addressed, is that these areas with the trees. So, we kind of placed it pretty much between two trees, right? So, what should I do? Well, I was thinking about maybe just putting, like, a, uh, railing system in there. But they're actually on a tilt, so they wouldn't be straight. So I'm still thinking that I might, when I when I try to do the ramp system, I might put some foundations underneath the ground and then do that. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it be like that, and it looks pretty cool. I think this is turning out to be fantastic. And also, that means I can get so many new wolves and wolf babies. Because to be honest, most of these are going to die. Uh, except for this one. This one won't die. That's, like, most of them won't die. Okay, well, you'll see what I mean. I just gotta get the best wolves. Uh, and kill all the other crappy ones. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so anyways, that's kind of the update. I'll be back when I'm done with this, and then we'll go over the last final part, which will be this area. 
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the showcase of the finale of building the Wolf Barn. Da -da -da -da. Now, I haven't painted it, nor will I probably, because I don't really like painting stuff. I really like to keep the old rustic feel of the build. But let's take a look. So, first off, we got our entranceway into the area, like so, which is right next to the entranceway to our main gate. Stuff, so we got a little bit of a power with some wind turbine. And yeah, it's just a very old, rustic-looking little barn. I also added some ecos, just a couple eco things here and there, just to make it a little bit... A uh, little bit more wolfy, I guess you'd say. Also added a little bear thing. Can't go wrong with the bear. Anyways, let's take a look inside. So, inside we got our left and we got our right. We also got a little bit of a cornered area. We got some... Also, we got the main attraction, which is the wolf den from Gaia. Which is very important. Uh, we have our feeding troughs on this side. And we have our water trough, which was a pain in the fucking ass to do. I would never recommend doing that. I probably would have done it better. But to be honest, I can't be screwed with pipes. I really just can't. I hate pipes. Uh, anyways, and then we got our storage of wolves. And yeah, I didn't decide. I I was going to do thatch uh, floors, but it was such a pain. And then when I did the testing for it, uh, the thatch floor. Let me look. Oh, I don't think I got... Did I? I don't, I don't have them anymore. Uh, there must be a stop. Well, anyways, the thatch floors would look weird when I put stone walls underneath. It just looked like the thatch was, like, coming over the... I don't know. It just looked really dumb. So I just kept it like that, which looks... Still looks pretty good, in my opinion. I still like this. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's take an aerial view real quick. Like at that. It looks pretty dope. I probably will do a full vanilla version of this. Uh, it is pretty much vanilla, but only the only difference is, is that these right here, this, 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 and this, are the only things you can't do in vanilla. Everything else you can do pretty much in vanilla. Uh, yeah, actually, pretty much. I don't know about this catwalk thing. Maybe that's the only thing for the exception. Uh, no, actually, it'd probably be pretty close. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure it would end, like, here. So you couldn't place that one or that one. But I guess that would be fine because then you just don't place those anyways. Anyways, let's get back to the build. So the whole purpose of this was to store uh, wolfies. So we got our dreadful wolves. We're going to put all our dreadful wolves here. We're going to pull our vanilla wolves on this side like so. And then we also got a new wolf over here, which will be in uh, another episode. Or I think it's already been an episode. It's a purple rare wolf. So that's pretty cool. She's amazing. We're actually going to mate her soon. We're actually going to get rid of most of these uh, wolves. Rip. Uh, not this one. That's Ellie got me that one. And then, yeah. Anyways, but yeah. So, yeah. And uh, also, the wolf den, it makes rabies. So, it takes spoiled meat and converts them into dreadful rabies. And you need dreadful rabies for summoning and all the other stuff. So, that's pretty cool. And, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Now, what's the storage c capacity of this? Well, if you could put two wolves in each section. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, yeah, 20, 20, I would say, I, from, I would say it's about 26 to 30, because if you really wanted to, you could store more in one spot, so, you know, it could probably go up to 30 if you're really, like, on, like, a wolf fetish, but I'm not really much of a wolf fetish, <laughs> I'm just taming a bunch of wolves that look pretty, but I am gonna kill most of these and get really better ones anyways, um, but yeah, so anyways, if you guys like the video, please leave a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and please tell me in the comments down below what you think about this, I really appreciate the comments, likes, and dislikes, because, you know, that tells me I'm doing a good job, and if you guys are really liking the, the series and everything, and all this other good stuff, and if you want to join the server, feel free, this is Patreon, Twitch sub server, and if you want to join the free server, if you're poor, you can join my Discord, link in the description down below, to join the free Aberration server, which is the same server settings and everything. But anyways, that's it. I love you all. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care and have a good one.